So guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get everything ready in WordPress. <sighs> I wanted to sneeze. Ugh. If you don't know how to install WordPress, then that's fine. I've done like a couple of video tutorials that you can have a look at and learn how to do it. It's super simple. And of course, if you don't know much about WordPress, I've also done another tutorial that you can look at that shows you WordPress in like 20 minutes. So you go, I'll wait, and we can get the rest of this tutorial started. Yeah, like go. Right, so now you've installed WordPress and you have a basic understanding of what is going on, we can start fiddling around with the settings. This is what I usually do with every fresh install. So first I would head over to settings and then general and I would change my location and my date format. Next I will go into media and I'm going to change the settings for my medium and large size and the reason why I'm changing these all to zero is basically because when you upload an image it uploads it three times and you don't really need one image in three different sizes right now. So I'm going to press save changes and that will be it for this section. Now I've had a few people ask me what is headway and I know I kind of started off this tutorial with the hope that you would know what headway is but a part of me didn't really want to go into depth about headway simply because I wanted you to see how headway worked but I will show you or explain to you what headway is about. In order to make WordPress or our site look pretty, we need to install something called a theme. Now a theme you can either download for free from WordPress itself. They have their own directory of themes. Most of them are fully supported and most of them look super attractive and this is what we would call free themes. Then you can also download other themes which are called premium themes which are not free and you would buy them from places like Theme Forest, Elegant Themes, there's like hundreds of these directories all over the place. Now the thing about these themes is that as you could see you have like a sidebar and you have the content now say if you wanted the sidebar to be on the right instead of the left it will be very difficult for you to customize that all of these themes are pre-made designs so you unless you know php or you know your best friends with a developer you would basically have to rebuild this theme from scratch if you would need something like a i don't know a slider now that's where head Headway Themes comes in. Headway Themes is a theme, except it has absolutely no customization, no design to it at all. It's a blank slate. And what it allows you to do is create something called templates. And templates are like mini themes. So you can have one theme and you can have a hundred templates. You can have like a hundred different looks for your site. Now you may not obviously want this, but this is just an example of what you can do. So with a template, you can have any form of customization. You can have your sidebar to the left or to the right, whatever you please. You can have a slider there if you want. You can have, you know, a one page website, a hundred million page website. It is totally up to you how you rock it. Now this is why I say once you build well once you buy headway themes you would not have to buy another theme again and this is the difference between the two. Now say if you do buy um, decide to just buy themes. The problem with just buying themes is that you would have to learn how to customize that theme over and over again. So with different themes that you buy, you would need to learn how to customize each and every one. So that can also kill a lot of your time because who wants to learn how to rebuild or recustomize things all over again using different templates? With Headway, you only have to learn the system once and that's it. You don't have to 
relearn how to customize stuff or relearn how to do anything you just upload it once you create your template and then you just build the website however you want it to look now we started off with a PSD and with a PSD we can easily customize that we can change colors if we want we can change the location of certain elements if we want you can of course use your own PSD but the sake of this tutorial and to make it short I am only using one that I bought so let's install the theme and I hope that's helped you in your understanding of headway Adding a theme to WordPress is super simple. The first thing we need to do is head over to appearance and then themes and from there we would upload the theme. Now I have already uploaded this theme to WordPress. You would hopefully be able to go into your headway dashboard and download the theme from there. Once downloaded you can activate it and you will be seen or you will be shown this uh, screen here which is basically like an introduction screen to Headway. I usually head over into the options section and add my license key. The license key is important if you want your theme to be updated once they push their updates out. Um, so make sure that you put in your license key. Um, I would obviously head over to visual editor, not obviously because not everybody does this but I always disable the tooltips in the visual editor because it gets annoying to me after a period of time but if you're a newbie you may want to keep this on now let's head over to the site and see what the front page looks like and this is what it looks like when we upload headway we have this blank screen it tells us there are no blocks to display we're going to go more into blocks a bit later but this is what we need this is what we want when we want to start our own website we want a complete blank state so we can create our own designs easily and freely without the constraints of another device developers idea of how design should go so now we've got all of this sorted out let's head over to the plugin section and talk about what plugins we need to add here we have four different plugins that we're going to be using and again as stated before one of them is a premium plugin which you can buy called soul sections by ginger soul records now this plugin is the plugin that is going to give us a lot of um, interactivity a lot of animation it's a brilliant plugin and if you haven't bought it already please head over to the site or please check the links below which will direct you to the site for you to um, buy the product the next one is EWW Image Optimizer. Now we've already sliced up our designs, we've already optimized them as best as we can in our editors, but when we upload them to WordPress, what WordPress does or what this plugin does, it allows you to optimize it further without even having to really do anything apart from upload an image. So it's great, it does everything from pink PNGs to JPEGs and it reduces the file size. So it doesn't really reduce the quality it just reduces the file size easy smooth scroll links is what's going to allow us to scroll up and down the page with ease and the headway mailchimp block is the block that we're going to be using to capture emails from our viewers so that's it really for this part of the tutorial in the next tutorial that's where all the fun begins we're going to be building out this PSD that we downloaded and we're going to be starting with the menu one other thing I did not really um become clear with is the fact that this website is going to be responsive which means that this website should be viewable on PCs on laptops on tablets on mobile so we're going to be going into so much depth here we're going to be talking about media queries we're going to be talking about animations we're just going to be going all out so hopefully I will see you in the next tutorial if you haven't already please subscribe and I will see you soon